السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو انادر کمپیوٹر سائنس لیکچر ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دی سلیبس فار پیپر نمبر 2 اینڈ دا فرسٹ ٹاپک اور دا فرسٹ سیکشن وی ہیو ان اور پیپر نمبر 2 از الگورتھم سیکشن نمبر 7 الگورتھم ڈیزائن اینڈ پرابلم سالونگ سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ وتھ سیکشن 7.1 پروگرام ڈیولپمنٹ لائف سائیکل اور ان ڈیفرنٹ بکس it is also known as system development life cycle or even software development life cycle these three are all the names for the same thing apparently the cambridge examiner in its syllabus prefers to call it program development life cycle whereas normally this, this thing is known as system development or software development Okay, so what exactly is a uh, program development uh, life cycle or system development life cycle? It is a systematic way of developing quality software where you follow different steps uh, one after the other in order to develop a software, a program, a system that is uh, efficient and that is effective. It provides an organize organized plan for breaking down the task of program development into manageable chunks each of which must be successfully completed before moving on to the next phase if you skip a stage during uh, program development life cycle and try to move on to the next step or the next stage then you are going to face problems your program would not be able to be developed fully or it might have complications or uh, errors The first stage of SDLC or PDLC is analysis and during analysis stage uh, what you do is you gather the client's requirements. This simply means that <coughs> cross questioning the client about what type of system or software do they want to be developed. There are two tools which are used in this stage one is known as abstraction and the other is used as decomposition in order to acquire the requirements from the user abstraction means keeping the key terms intact and discarding any unnecessary details whereas a decomposition means to break down a large or complex problem into sub parts and then further dividing them into further parts so that they can be solved easily one by one the second stage is design it is the in this stage we make diagrams uml unified modeling language diagrams flow charts pseudo code structure diagrams and write algorithms in this stage we basically uh, create a theoretical concept of the new system the third stage is coding once we have made all the diagrams all the uh, we have made the blueprint for the new system then we actually start building it and uh, we translate algorithms into actual programming codes whatever language is uh, considered for that or chosen for that the said language is used to develop the system iterative testing is carried out to make sure blocks of code are error free iterative testing means after writing each 4 5 8 10 20 <laughs> <laughs> lines of code or after writing each block of code or each module or each sub module you run a uh, interpreter that is built in within the uh, your ide you know, and check whether the lines of code which you have written are perfect or not before moving on to the next part or the next block of code then after you have written all the lines of code all the modules have been written and they have been connected with each other then comes the phase of testing and uh, we do this so that in order to find any logical errors normally all of the syntax errors are caught at the coding stage whereas the logical errors are tested out or taken out during the testing phase the fifth stage is implementation or deployment where you actually install the system or software at the users end wherever testing the last and the final stage well according to your syllabus is the maintenance and maintenance means providing after sales services uh, upgrades debugging 
if anything whatsoever comes after the installation or deployment of the set software then it is done in the sixth stage that is maintenance so this is basically your section 7.1 quite easy quite simple you just need to know these steps for program development life cycle next we have uh, computer systems and solution design that is a rather large concept a large um, what you can say lar a large lecture is needed in order to cover all the points so we'll be starting it in the next lecture feel free to ask me any questions if you have not understood anything take care Allah Hafiz